Hello and welcome back to the Radical Challenge. We are ninth on the grid out of 16 cars and we have got 16 laps to go so let's have further ado, let's get the race started and away we go. Making up one place there. Somebody got a bad start. Down the inside of somebody else. Somebody speared off left there. Got passed by a couple of cars on the exit of that turn. We now need to get settled in. See how things go from here. Big pack of cars. Somebody there spun behind us and somebody crashed into him. Somebody else there spinning into that turn. We're about sixth place at the moment. Plenty of company at this stage of the race. We did end up with a bit of a lonely race as we went forward, but another car there into the gravel. Another one spun behind us. Just saw him at the bottom of the screen. We now come through the third gear corner and up into fourth gears quick lift and then into fifth gear on the exit before fourth gear for the final turn and as we go across the line at the end of the first lap we are in P6 uh, I think P6 yeah P6 somebody there spun ahead of us that puts us up to P5 out of the loop there. Fastest part of the circuit. A little bit coming up to this long straight, a little bit like over Ouse, but not quite as fast in these things, but it's a fun set of bends that absolutely flat reaching sixth gear before the end of the S's. We've got a car not far ahead of us now. We've got one car behind us, one car in front, and then a good gap behind before we come to the next lot of cars coming towards the end of the lap and he's gone a little wide there on the entry to that corner come across to start the third lap and we are in P5 at this stage. A little bit wide over the rumble strips. The car behind is as well. The car ahead of us getting away a little. Quite like this rebellion livery on the radical. May have a look see if we find anything different at some point, but at the minute rebellion racing is what we are running under. The 
car behind, probably catching in a little couple of cars behind us there now, so... <coughs> we now go up and towards the end of the lap once more. Seems to be a few more cars about when you're watching it back like this and what there is when you're actually racing you seem to be a long way ahead of people when you're actually racing but where we go again and we are on the piss of our 16 laps and it's still in P5 at this stage and when you I'm not sure whether you can alter the fuel it is a fixed setup race, this, and I'm not sure whether you can alter the fuel, but somebody towards the end runs out of fuel, as we will see as we get to the end of the race. And the two cars behind the three cars actually now have got another car catching up into this battle now another car there in the gravel not sure whether it was a lead car or a lap car that was in the gravel but we'll see as we go across the line this time come to go over the line what is our position as we go over? We're in P4, so it was one of the cars that was ahead of us that's gone into the gravel. These radicals with the uh, Suzuki motorcycle engines in them. We've got a car coming down the inside of us here now into the turn at the bottom. It runs a little wide and we are back through. And two car, three car train now. And still not too far behind the car ahead. Nice fight here with three cars in the fight. Car now slipstreaming down, not going to turn in on him. Uh, we are now back down to fifth place at this stage of the race, and he is getting away pretty quickly so. We come across now to start the sixth lap and back into fifth place. We run a little bit out wide over the rumble strips and everybody else is doing the same. Out of the message lots more on for the long flat out back straight. Car down the inside of us in this fast bend, and once more we managed to hold them back on that corner. Down now into 
to the third gear corner. And then accelerate up through into fifth gear before going back to third to the next corner. Looks like into this third gear corner we're going to have a car. No, it's not coming down the inside of us this time. We have got a lot of time to make up. We're still not maximising speed we can get out of the car and the car behind spins in turn one one car behind us now not two into the twistier section of the circuit now. A little bit squirrely on the entry to that. But managed to hold it in a straight line. Back up to the second of the third gear corners again. Didn't get a good exit there that time, but lost a good bit of ground to the car in front. Going through now to finish the lap. And we will go on to the eighth lap, so the eight half distance lap now. through the S's once more, reaching 6th gear before the end of it. Car behind, getting a good slipstream down the straight. He's going to have a look into the corner, he's looking. But, yeah, thinks the better of it. Good when you've got some sensible drivers like this chap behind us now. You get some of them, especially when you're in the rookie classes, they think, oh, I'm faster than you are, just crash into you and push you out of the way. But this guy being fair, and trying once more down the inside of us and still not making it. Only a matter of time before we're down to sixth place. Good group of cars behind us now. Big group of cars there behind, battling away. We come across now to start the ninth lap of the race and down into there we run very wide there he runs wide as well got a good toe this time onto the straight he should get through got a lovely toe all the way through the s bends all the way down the straight one litre remaining Track temps increasing, it's now 29 Celsius. So on lap 10, I think we've missed the fact that he's passed us. There he goes ahead of us now. 
So it's jumped towards the end of lap 10. Now across to start lap 11 and I think you'll find that we are in P6 as we cross the line. Indeed we are. <coughs> Got a bit of a lonely race going on now. cars to be seen behind. There is a car in front which is the car that overtook us when the camera jumped to the next lap which was a shame we missed the overtake that he made. We are now good gap behind so we are Settling in, trying to keep the lap times consistent. And there is a car there behind us, but we've got one in front still as well. We'll have to start pushing a little bit again soon. Plenty of breathing space. We come across to complete the 11th lap and start the 12th. Looking at this stage like a sixth place finish. Sight behind us at all, so pretty comfy, pretty comfortable gap behind. Well, there you can see there, he's just coming on to the straight as we are getting towards the end of it, so yeah, plenty of gap behind. Coming now towards the end of the 12th lap and on to our 13th lap. So four laps to go at the end of this one. Car that passed us in the fifth place is still there ahead of us, so not too much of a gap to we are now beginning to try and push to get the gap down to the car in P5. Go across now to start. 13th lap, still in P6 as you see. Once more up through the S's. To the long back straight, you can just see the car ahead. see the car behind us coming on to the corner now as we approach the next bend.
just here. The car in front changing down to the corner and there's two cars there now battling so a chance that we can catch up on these cars a little now. Hopefully they will battle with each other, slow themselves down and we can start to close in. Going over now to stop the 15th lap of the race. Running a little wide there. Straight a little too late. Down onto the boat straight once more. See the cars just in the distance. And the car once again is coming on there. Cap stain pretty stable to the car in P7, so let's just see them just disappearing out of this bend as we now approach it. So good five or six seconds behind them at the moment. But they are visually getting closer to us. <coughs> Just saw the glimpse of them there as we're coming out of that corner. Coming towards the end of the lap once more. And we've got a bit sideways there. So any chance of catching them appears to be disappearing with that slide. We come now to go over the line in P6 to start the 15th of the 16 laps. So this lap and one more to go. See once you get down the straight how much the car behind caught up with our mistake. And you just see him coming through the turn one as we are exiting there. It's still about the same distance, he's not probably caught a second on us to what he was. Come down now to this bend. There's just one car there ahead of us, there was two. So as he got past and pulled away from him. See the car ahead there. We're coming now towards the end of the 15th lap. And there is the car that was ahead of us. So we up to P5 as we come through to start the final lap of the race. I think we will be in P5. We shall put the thing up, and indeed P5 now, so we're going to get another top 5 for our record, taking us up to 115 top 5 finishes over all categories. So looking like a top 5 finish, the car behind is About the same car off us as we are off it, the car in front. Although we do appear to be catching the car ahead a little bit. Fourth, fifth, and sixth places 
all in one little train. That's a back marker there, I think. Yeah, that's that's a back marker there. That's not the car in P4. He seems to have checked out and got away from us all. go through and past the back marker. car behind us goes through as well to pass the back marker. As we come to the check flag, you just saw the car in P4 there in the turn. And his car in P4 slowed down. We go across the line and the race now over. We are in P4, as you see there, fourth place finish, 40.9 seconds off the leader. So we hope you enjoyed this race. Please give us a like, give us a share, drop us a comment if you're new to some of our mistakes and you'd like to see more of what we do here, please subscribe to the channel. If you ring the bell, it will tell you when we do these races, when we do our farming, until you join us next time. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye for now.